morning, everybody. Uh, listen to country music here. Uh, some song about I'm so much cooler online. <laughs> Ain't that the fucking truth? Oh, oh boy. That's true. Ain't we all fucking cooler online? Oh. Uh, just got off of work here and uh, cruising on to my next uh, appointment here. Just put in a uh, bunch of hours making the parts, and grinding the parts, and cutting the parts, and deburring the parts, and oiling the parts, and stacking the parts, and boxing the parts, and, you know, doing the shit with the parts. And then remembering, oh, I forgot to check my parts. And take them all off. Double check. Oh. I'm just kidding. Yeah. What's going on? Oh yeah, right now I am off to. Uh, I got to go install a transmission into a minivan. A little uh, Pony, uh, Pony Crack Transport. Um, one of those shuttlecraft looking things. I don't know. Job only pays 150 bucks, but the transmission's already out. All I got to do is install the new one. I only looked at it the other night in the snowstorm. It was fucking god awful situation. Let me tell you. They fucking uh, they get the uh, they get the uh, they get the transmission from the junkyard, right? And uh, they decide, okay, well uh, we don't have to worry about it too much. We'll just let it bang around a little bit. And so they broke the fucking bell housing on the motherfucker. And then they get, oh, uh, the junkyard. They'll just take this back. <laughs> Black people are silly. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Uh, I informed them about the odds of the guy actually taking that back and uh, told them that their best option is to take it to a welder who can weld aluminum. And uh, they were quite surprised that this, uh, that this could be done. Um, I told them I knew somebody that could do it for a dollar an inch. It was around about uh, less than 12 inches worth of work. I figured they'd probably end up charging like a 20 bucks or something like that. <laughs> they paid somebody else 80. What a bunch of dumbasses. Whatever. Uh, hey, welders allowed to make money too, man. Everybody's allowed to make money here. So, they paid 80 bucks for that, probably like 300 or something for the transmission, plus my job. And the previous person who was supposed to do it got into a fucking car wreck like a dumb monkey and uh, got hurt so bad that uh, he can't finish the job, so... Their loss is one of the guys getting a dig. Um, not really much on my mind, uh, although I did have a brilliant fucking idea today. And I know this means totally nothing to you. Um, uh, my friend Elena, okay? She's really fucking cool. She's a Catholic school teacher, right? And, um, she teaches, uh, in, uh, the inner city. Okay? So I'm pretty sure all her students are black, as far as I know. Um, she's this white girl, short hair. I met her on, uh, plentyoffish.com. You know that one, you know, the, uh, I was trying to internet dating thing for a while, and, you know, all that didn't exactly work out so well for me. Um, I still got stories to tell on that motherfucker. <laughs> So, anyway, she's, she's, she's like totally into death metal, hardcore, you know, killer shit, okay? Now, I'm not into that kind of, you know, I ain't got that much anger in my life, and I, I'm not into that whole aggro knuckle dragon type of music, but it makes her freaking happy, and she just, you know, I think all she does is spend all her, like, extra money going to freaking, like, concerts, and just bashing her head into other people's heads or something. So I don't think she's that tall, so maybe bashes her head into other people's chests or something. Hopefully they're not wearing big frickin' uh, Mr. T-style necklaces and shit, because, you know, he wore a lot of fucking gold around his neck, and let me tell you, that would fucking hurt a lot. Um, I, in fact, that actually brings me back to another idea that I had, which was why the 18 people never hardly got shot. I think they only got shot once. I think Howlin' Man Murdoch got shot one episode or something, I forget exactly, but, um, and, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess that all that gold around Mr. T's neck was like a big magnet or something, 
and four, he was just such an awesome person that he, like, think he was, like, his own, like, astral body or some shit like that in space. And it was like, you know, mag magnetically gravitational pull all the bullets into him, and they would hit his goal and save the entire A team. But I don't know, I could be wrong on that. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh, shit goes out of my mind. Anyway, uh, Elena here, you know, Catholic school teacher, one of the one of the cool things that she does is uh, in addition to uh, teaching the uh, teaching little kids on uh, their uh, read, writing, and arithmetic and all that good jazz or whatever, she, I know she, she teaches. So I guess um, she's uh, the coach for the math lead. Now, for those of you who don't know what a math lead is, I mean they do math, and I don't think they do jumping jacks or any kind of other athletic, like physical stuff. I think they just have to, uh, you know. Ah, come on, douchebag, fucking other pedal. Use the other one. We're on the freeway here. We're going we're going about one half of a mile an hour. We're stopped. Everybody else is flying. Motherfuckers. God damn it. Anyway, they do the math leap. And I had this brilliant fucking idea. You know, it it it, 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 it amazes me how fucking funny this is. There I am sitting at work, right? And I'm shoving the parts in the machine. And I had this thing in my mind, you know, where I'm, you know, you, you get bored and you just, your mind starts to wander. You get your own little world. Well, I'm sitting there reenacting some of the uh, great moments from the Mr. Bean television show. For those people who've ever watched Mr. Bean, he's a funny motherfucker. Rowan Atkins, okay? Okay. Uh, the movies, the Mr. Bean movies kind of blue balls, but uh, the TV show, the British one, was fucking awesome. It was funny as fuck. Anyway, so I'm thinking about uh, Mr. Bean. And I'm, you know, I'm, all the silly little things that he does, and, you know, as he goes through the whole thing. Oh, French Road! French Road exit, see, down in de downtown Detroit area, they're, uh, they run drag, uh, race, uh, on the, uh, on French Road, uh, in Detroit here. Um, anyway, um, another Rowan Atkinson, was he was Mr. Bean, um, program was called the Black Adder, okay? And, uh, you know, re referring to the snake. And it was like this really, really bizarre British show about, you know, the, they were like knights and knaves, and it was like this, um, old, frickin', I, 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 it was hard to describe it. They had kings and queens and princesses and frickin' knights and shit, okay? Either way, a bunch of fool dressed motherfuckers. It's pretty funny, though. Um, I didn't, it, I liked some of the show, didn't really like it all. Either way, the show is called The Black Adder. And then I had a brilliant idea that Elena should adopt a snake logo for the math leads. And because they're all black kids, they're their black adders. I thought this was fucking brilliant. I don't think anybody else will probably find it that funny, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so... That's, uh, that's the day of today. Um, as we can see, the sky is not that bad, really. There's some, you can see a little bit of clear blue, but most of it's pretty much overcast and cold. It's around about, uh, I don't know, 34 degrees out right now. So, I'm going to be outside working for the next few hours, uh, seeing how fast I can get this fucking transmission together. They got everything tore apart in this motherfucker, so we'll see what happens. Uh, wish me luck, jeez. Now, what the hell? Where's the offer? Oh.